Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is for knee pain and to help strengthen the area around the knees. So knee pain can sometimes be caused by stiffness or again maybe the muscles are weak surrounding the knees. So the object of this sequence is to help you strengthen the knees and also to help stretch the muscles around the knees. So go ahead and grab a pillow just in case um, in some of these poses where we are kneeling your knees um, don't feel good you can always use a pillow underneath the knees and of course skip any poses that are painful that are very painful if you have knees that are severely painful please see a doctor or talk to a doctor before you do any um, yoga sequences or anything that's going to be um, affecting your knees so again the object of this video is to strengthen and to stretch the muscles around the knees and the areas around the knees so hopefully with some consistency this can help your knees to feel better. So we're going to just start with some breath. So you can come to an easy seated position, whatever that is. If you want to sit cross-legged, you can. If you have um, issues sitting cross-legged, using that pillow underneath the hips will help you get there. You can also extend your legs to straight or sit in whatever way is comfortable. We're just going to rest our hands on our knees, closing our eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Good. And then we will make our way up to hands and knees and come to Balasana, Child's Pose. So big toes together, knees wide. You can use the pillow behind you if you need to. But we're going to float our hips back towards our heels and extend our arms forward. And if you need to keep your hips lifted, you can. Or again, place a pillow behind you, melt your chest down towards the ground. This is intense on your knees or painful on your knees. You can also come to your back for Apanasana, which is like an upside down child's pose. And just hugging your knees into your chest. So do what works for you. We'll spend a couple more breaths here. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, float your body forward. We'll get ready to come up to down dog. So tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back. If you're not ready for down dog, you can stay down on the knees and extend the arms forward. And feel free to bring that pillow underneath your knees. And you can modify your down dog like this in puppy pose. Or if you're ready, go ahead and lift your hips up and back. Pedal your feet out one at a time. We're getting a stretch in the hamstrings, down into the calves, so the muscles surrounding the knees. You can shift your weight from one foot to the other as well. And when you're ready, start to extend your right leg up and back. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to step it up in between your hands. So however you get it there is fine. Align your right knee over your ankle. Bring your feet to about hips distance apart. See if you can stay up on the left toe. We'll sweep the arms up for crescent lunge. So this is one of those poses that's going to help strengthen the muscles around the knees. Strengthening the quads, strengthening the calf. Good. If you need to rotate that back heel down flat, you can. From here, we're going to move into warrior three. So hands could come to heart center. Start to shift your weight 
onto this right foot. If you're not that great at balance, you can use the wall and bring your hands to the wall. Otherwise, hands can come to heart center. Start to extend the left leg back. Bring your body parallel to the floor. Again, strengthening the muscles around the knees. Strengthening the quads, strengthening the hamstring. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the left foot down, lower the hands down, lower the left foot down and cross it behind the right ankle. You can bend your knees as much as you need to, or if you can, go ahead and straighten the legs. And then we're going to start to walk the hands over to the left. So you'll feel a good stretch along the IT band in the left hip. If you have a tight IT band, that can be affecting your knees as well. Breathe here. Good. Now we're going to walk our hands over to the right. And again, if you need to bend your knees more, that's fine. Take your hands, walk them to center. And we're going to step the left foot back for a low lunge. So grab your pillow if you know you need some cushion underneath your knees. Left foot will step back and we'll come down on the left knee. Right knee is aligned over the ankle and we'll sweep the arms up for a low lunge here. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands to rest above the knee. And we'll sink our hips deeper into this low lunge. Getting a stretch in the front of the left quad. Also building some strength here. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down on either side of the front foot. Tuck that left toe under, lift the knee off of the ground. We'll step the right foot back and come to down dog. Uh, taking a couple breaths in our down dog. Uh, when you're ready, extend the left leg back. Inhale. Exhale, step it up in between the hands. Bring your feet to hips distance apart. Left knee aligned over the ankle. Sweep the arms up. Press and lunge on this side. Good. Again, strengthening those legs. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Shift your weight into this left foot, coming to warrior three on this side. So you can use your hands on the ground for support or bring your hands to a wall or bring your hands to heart center. Right toes pointing down towards the ground. And inhale. Exhale. Step that right foot behind the left. Let's walk our hands over to the right. Feeling that good stretch there in the hip on the IT band. Again, bend into the knees if you need to, or you can straighten them. If you have a block, maybe your hands come down to a blocks, or maybe your hands come down to a couple books. You can stack a couple of books to bring the floor closer to you. Let's walk our hands over to the left. Inhale. Exhale back to center. We'll step this right foot back. Grab that pillow to bring underneath the knee. And we'll lower the right knee down for a low lunge. Sweep the arms up. Good. Inhale. 
Exhale, bring the hands down to rest above the left knee. Sink down into the hips. Get that good stretch in the front of the quad. Get that good stretch in the hips. Uh, second inhale. Exhale, bring those hands down on either side of the front foot. Tuck the back toe under, lift the right knee off the ground. Step that left foot back, come to down dog. And we'll pedal the feet out here again. Because why not? We want to stretch them even more. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees and extend the legs forward. And we'll come to a wide leg seat. So I'm going to face the side so you can see me. Bringing the legs wide here. Flex the toes back towards the face. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, lead with the chest. Start to lower the hands down till you feel a stretch in the backs of those legs and in the lower back. And breathe here. Uh, let's take a few more breaths. Exhale, come back to an upright position. Let's bring the legs together. Bend the knees, bring the feet flat on the ground. Scoot the hips close to the heels. Make your way down to your back. Now from here, we're going to cross our right ankle over our left knee. Go ahead and let the right toes be flexed, pointing back towards the right knee. This might be enough for you here. If this feels okay and you want to deepen the stretch, you can bring your hands behind the left thigh or behind the left shin and pull the knee in towards your chest. Keep both feet flexed here. Uh, breathe. Yeah, inhale. Exhale, release. Uncross the right ankle. And then we'll cross the left ankle over the right knee. Staying just like this or grabbing behind the thigh or behind the right shin, pulling it in towards your chest. Uh, a couple more breaths. And inhale. Exhale, release, uncross the ankle. Extend those feet towards the bottom corners of your mat. Arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward as we move into Shavasana. Just taking a couple breaths here. Deep inhale through the nose. 
Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. And come back to your natural breath. Releasing any control over the breath. And just let your body relax here for these next few moments. And your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Just taking a moment to reflect on your practice and to extend some gratitude towards yourself for these self-care and self-love practices you've exercised here today. Next inhale, make your way up to a comfortable seat. And together we'll sweep the arms up. Inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this knee pain, knee mobility practice. The best way to get results from yoga is to practice regularly. So do some yoga every day if you can. That's going to stretch and strengthen the muscles in the areas around your knees. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this video. Check the link down in my description box about joining my channel as a member. And there's also a link for Black Yogi Nico Marie merch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.